Sparking innovation requires dedication and drive. The team at the Collaborative Environment and StrikeWorks spent 2021 making innovation a reality for Air Force Global Strike Command. The result of a partnership between Cyber Innovation Center and Air Force Global Strike Command's Office of the Chief Scientist, these accomplishments will stretch to every corner of the command. StrikeWorks kicked off the year revolutionizing emergency air crew alerting by sourcing three new technologies. So the purpose of the Emergency Air Crew Response Challenge was to replace 1970s Jimmy Carter era technology with a current technology that meets the need for strategic commands, air crew alerting. Out of 47 different companies that submitted, we narrowed that down to three that we went out, three different companies that we went out and took a look at their technologies. Uh, the one that caught our eye first was a, a local Louisiana company, Pelican, that talked about a hemp hardening cabinet that changed the way we do hemp. The next thing that we looked at and the most unique one we looked at was actually a replacement to the pager that I have in my hand that we've been using, that air crews have been using in the field for the last 30 years or so with what will become a potential air crew patch. It will be much thinner than this, but about the same size. So it'll actually go on your uniform and it'll provide not only an audible alert, but also give you capability to hear the text. This new technology is unjammable and also can transmit through virtually any type of metal or around buildings and those dead spots are eliminated. StrikeWorks sourced two companies to prototype one-of-a-kind capabilities via the B-52 air refueling simulator. Air refueling is a crucial skill for pilots to learn, but it is also one of the most challenging. In addition, training is expensive to maintain and time-consuming to conduct. This unique cutting-edge simulator will teach the skills necessary for maintaining a vital long-range strike capability. StrikeWorks process is different from other approaches to find solutions. It's exciting to survey the wide range of cutting-edge capabilities that are out there. We were able to take the work being done by small business partners like King Crow Studios and Specular Theory and have them collaborate with B-52 instructor pilots, then turn them loose to build the best prototypes based on the latest technologies in the simulation industry. CE also saw major gains in bringing innovative solutions to global strike challenges. Betaflix is developing a solution that will help the largest group of security forces in the Air Force. The Ruston, Louisiana-based company is building a mixed reality trainer for the A-Circuit security device used in intercontinental ballistic missile fields. The A-Circuit is similar to a vault door and has the important task of safeguarding ICBM fields. But that also means combinations must be changed regularly on a very delicate device. Being off by a single digit or even bumping the device during combination changes can result in a costly and time-consuming solution. The A-Circuit Trainer will be an immersive learning experience combining the best elements of various learning technologies and techniques. It will impact security forces by equipping them with the necessary skills to avoid resetting the A-Circuit or replacing it altogether. The Portfolio Data Engineering Platform, or PDEP, is a project that will change how decisions are made in Air Force Global Strike Command. Uh, PDEP is a, a groundbreaking approach to using data within Air Force Global Strike Command. Uh, the platform hosts data for decision makers to optimize mission effectiveness and uh, how they utilize funding. PDEP has the potential to change the way the entire command operates, whether by automating repetitive tasks that soak up airmen's time and increase the speed of reporting, or by making information more available and revealing previously unknown but useful information. 2021 saw the collaborative environment and its partners in the command build a platform infrastructure and demonstration of revision zero at the PDEP Expo. We generated a lot of interest from other commands within the Air Force and PDEP has become a leading example of how a data science platform can be used within the DOD. PDEP is clearly pushing the boundaries of how the command analyzes and uses data and it will affect every area of Air Force Global Strike Command. The Striker Airman Coder program saw another successful group of students develop software solutions that will mean a variety of long-term impacts. Airmen leave the six-month program with the skills to better serve their squadron. Local university students gain industry and military exposure, and industry is provided access to potential future employees. 
The uh, SAC program for me was an uh, excellent experience, and what I enjoyed most about it, uh, at least for the first three months, was the, the chance to learn from industry experts, guys who have been in their field 10 to 20 years, uh, and then taking the time to uh, teach us the uh, ins and outs of software development. Um, in addition to that, the, the last three months, the capstone is really where uh, we applied all the skills that we've learned, and really it went beyond that. The, the stuff we learned at, during the capstone portion really went beyond the, the language we were using and the, the skill sets we gained during the, the learning portion. Um, we, we learned teamwork, and we learned things like how to uh, build an agile team, how to, how to work effectively as a team, and do retrospectives, and take our lessons learned and apply them to future steps in the, in the program. And those are things we can take back to our squadrons right now and uh, apply them day to day. And even if we never program another day after doing this course, um, what we bring back to our wing and our command is, so when we're talking to contractors, the guys actually building our software applications, how we, we need to translate our operational requirements into technical requirements. Um, and, and that's a, a return that we get out of this program right away. Projects aren't the only area where CE and StrikeWorks had major impact in 2021. 69 events were hosted throughout 2021 that saw nearly 2,000 attendees and had the economic impact of more than half a million dollars. No event symbolized innovation more than the StrikeWorks Spark Sprint, or S3. S3 highlighted and amplified Airmen's innovative ideas from across the command. Everyday problems are coming up through Global Strike Headquarters, and we bring these airmen into StrikeWorks to help solve those problems. 13 airmen were chosen by Global Strike Innovation Experts to spend a week at StrikeWorks being trained on how to best present their ideas to command leadership and business leaders. Staff Sergeant Daniel Brewer and Senior Airman Jordan Heck from Dias Air Force Base, Texas, and Captain Robert Moran and Master Sergeant Julio Torres from Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, were voted as the S3 2021 winners. Their ideas for a new communications field kit and an upgraded B-52 ejection seat kit have advanced to the 2022 Air Force Spark Tank semifinals. They both have the opportunity to represent the command at the Air Force Spark Tank Finals. We are helping these airmen push their projects where they need to go. S3 is all about helping our airmen's innovative ideas be heard. While 2021 was a year of new highs, successful innovation only goes as far as your latest idea. CE, StrikeWorks, and the Office of the Chief Scientist are committed to making those ideas a reality.